Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode video as whoa. Woo. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm getting a refund for this light. This is the second time during the video this light has cut off. This is the ghetto. Welcome back to another video, Escobar Batney. I'm gonna hop right into this video because this is about to be a long, a long haul for me that I don't want to do because I'm lazy, but I need to do it because my birthday's coming up on a Friday and I want my hair to be curly. Anyways, in other videos, you guys know that I talked about dyeing my hair possibly black again for my birthday this Friday, October 16th. I decided I'm not going to because I'm pure lazy. But that's not the only reason. Um, chemicals, another reason, but more so because I don't feel like going through the process of having to thoroughly wash the dye out of my hair. And that takes me like an hour to an hour and a half. Honestly, more so to the hour and a half part. So yeah, and I was gonna put curls in. So that whole process probably would have taken me like four or five hours to dye my hair, thoroughly wash it out retwist my hair and then do pipe cleaner curls anyways so yeah i just got out the shower you guys know that i just washed my hair like a week and a half ago but i don't suggest if you are in the starter like stages of your lock journey don't wash your hair like within a week and a half of each other i know some people do but i wouldn't suggest it personally um i just wanted my hair to be super clean for this curl and honestly when I washed my hair when I did the detox and the lock popping video I did plan to wash my hair black so that's why I was just gonna wash my hair again because I was gonna dye it but since I didn't dye it I decided just to wash it because I did a slick back yesterday so much <laughs> but um yeah anyways let's get into this video pipe cleaner curls didn't dye my hair black so it is still the same color of I dyed my hair black like earlier this year, March maybe, April actually. Um, and since I detoxed it, it fades. And I dyed these two strands blonde, so we'll bleach them. But um, yeah, my hair, this is my hair. Just washed it, so it is freshly washed, damp. Um, I am going to moisturize. As you see, I have my hair in sections. Much easier to wash your hair this way. Wash it thoroughly this way when it's in sections. What you need is pipe cleaner curls. Not pipe cleaner curls. Pipe cleaners themselves. You can find them literally probably anywhere. Walmart, Kroger's, Myers, the dollar store. It's the craft ones, pipe cleaners. I would suggest getting the color that your hair is unless you want to have like colorful ones. I know the first couple times that I do pipe cleaner curls, I was like, I don't care. And I had like colorful pipe cleaner curls and it didn't look too bad. Um, just if you want to wear like the pipe cleaners like in your head for like a minute before taking the, the curls down, actually, it might look a little wonky, you know. I'm not judging you, but somebody might. But yeah, I would suggest getting the color of your hair. I got black. Um, I've done brown before. It just helps it blend better. So for me, I've done pipe cleaner curls a couple times. So honestly, if you like this style, I would suggest just keeping the ones that you have to make. I'll show you how to make like the pipe cleaner into what you need to use. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, I suggest just keeping them when you take your hair down. Just keep them in like a little baggie so you don't have to go through the process of actually making this every time you do pipe cleaner curls. But I'll show you how to make the pipe into what you use to curl your hair. So. Take it out the pack. This is what it looks like. What you wanna do, fold it in half. It doesn't even have to be even. Fold it in half and what I find the easiest is just literally to hold it here and then just stick your finger in the middle of this and then just twist it around. And honestly, you don't even, honestly, I know some people who like twist it from the top to bottom. I find this the fastest. Literally, I just did that within like 10, maybe even five seconds, like five seconds. Okay. So this is what you're stuck with. You have this little loop at the bottom and it's like half. That's what you need because you're gonna put your lock through here. But I'll show you guys. Normally I don't keep the clips in, but I am just to help the retwist stay. So not really a stickler for parts. I just part whatever I feel. You know, I got my hands 
have my hair dyed. Um, for a gel, I'm going to use Eco Styler. I've been using Eco Styler all five years that I've been locking my hair. So it's just what works for me. I haven't honestly even tried anything different. So I'm sure something else might work better, but or just if not the same. But so there it is retwisted here. I'm gonna put um, put the end of your lock through the loop. You gotta twist the loop all the way onto your lock. I don't like doing it too tight because I don't like leaving indents in my locks. Like this. I keep going fishing. <laughs> Next, you are going to twist up in the direction of your lock is going. So my lock is being twisted this way. What is that, counterclockwise? So I'm going to twist counterclockwise. Also, oh, I also wanted to say, and I'll insert pictures, how tight you twist your hair will depend on how like long the curls far of, fall. Of course, if you don't have like the length yet, the curls are gonna only fall to a certain distance. But like for me, I normally like to have like a loose curl type. So I like to twist like the, the pipe cleaner is like up to here. So like the lock, the curls themselves. And I'll insert pictures so you guys know what I'm talking about. And I'll insert pictures of you guys. So, whoa. And I'll insert pictures so you guys know what I'm talking about as far as like the tight curls. Cause you can, the closer you twist the lock around the string, the closer and the tighter the curls will be. So if you want something loose, twist it around here loosely. If you want something tight and shorter, twist it around it tighter. I am going for something shorter because although having long locks is nice, um, sometimes I get sick of them and I just want shorter. Like I just want a shorter length. So I'm gonna go for the shorter bob length. So I'm going to twist um, tightly around my lock like this. And honestly, it doesn't even need to be like, when I say tight, I mean like closeness. It doesn't have to be like super tight. Like on this, you guys see how like there's some space. It doesn't have to be like super tight. And plus the thicker the locks you have, the harder it might be anyways to get them to like lay like tightly on, um, I don't know why I'm having a hard time talking. <laughs> lay tightly on the pipe cleaner. So I want my, lock or my curls to fall to like my ear length um of course since my locks are a little longer they might not be able to fall that short i want them to fall like here so i'm going to wrap them here to here but if i wanted them to fall looser and have a more like wavy curl you wrap it looser but because i want like a more shorter look i wrapped it tighter and there and i'm going to leave the clip in just to help my retwist stay. And there is that. So I'll do a couple more so you guys can see. These are, the, these are the ones I already have used, so sometimes I have to untwist them at the bottom, but it's all good. it down if you still need more space for your locks because I said I thought my locks were too long to use like these pipe cleaners but they're not and I always like to sometimes just measure it to see if it's gonna fall where I kind of want it to fall oh and then when you get to the top you just twist it around the root one time so this is what it looks like before you twist it just twist it I mean bend it so bend it this way, like that. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a sheep. I don't know why curls like this just reminds me of sheep. I don't know.
understanding what I mean. I'll do this whole section on camera and then I'll cut it off. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do my hair. Secure it at the top with the clip. Honestly, I still haven't even, I still have not mastered clipping at the root yet. I will admit that. Open the end, stick the end of your lock through the opening of the pipe cleaner. Secure the end of the pipe cleaner by twisting it around your lock. Twist the lock in the same direction that the retwist is going. See, it's been a year since I've done the curls, so. Secure pipe cleaner at the top. And you're done. section of my hair that felt like forever I am about to take a break and then I'll come back and I'm gonna do the rest of my head and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like when the rest of my head is done so BRB okay guys hey I have my retainers in so if I'm talking weird or if I sound weird that's why I just start wearing these so I'm not used to them and talking but it is 9 40 at night i have no idea i know i took like a small break i have no idea why this is taking me so long um i worked in sections let me just show you guys what i have done this is my last section probably about like 10 or 15 i don't know i have no idea why this is taking me so long but it is um hopefully it turns out nice it's gonna turn out nice because they always do. Honestly, you can't go wrong with the pipe cleaner girls. 
you really can't they're super easy but um yeah hopefully i can finish these before 10 30 i'm gonna push myself to finish these before 10 30 and i'll come back and when they're all finished forever later and i am done i don't know how long it took me probably three and a half to four hours total i have no idea why it took me so long honestly it probably took me more like three and a half three three and a half hours but i'm finally done i'm really happy with the length um i know they're gonna be short and that's what i was going for because i get tired of long hair um and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like when i take it out so can't wait to show you guys on friday my birthday but anyways thank you guys for oh wait this is the end of the video okay yeah i'll see you guys soon i also wanted to mention that i am sleeping with these clips in my hair just to help um my retwisted roots stay in place because like i said with the curl curls since they're not really like since they're being curled in direction sometimes the retwist can fall out so yeah sleeping in the clips just for tonight um maybe tomorrow night too probably not though because the clips can irritate my scalp um do your best to try and like put a bonnet on this is me trying as you can see i'm struggling sleeping of course is not gonna be comfortable but you know so what who cares beauty is pain and i'm about to lose some of these clips because it's hurting me i would say if you do decide to sleep in clips if it's hurting like your scalp like pulling your scalp definitely loosen it or just take it out like it's definitely not worth the pain so i'll show you guys what it looks like when i take it down good night okay hey guys so it's been one day since i sorry i got the closed door it's been one day today's my birthday I'm 25, y'all. Happy birthday to me and my two triplet sisters. Anyways, yeah, today's my birthday, so y'all know I had to do something cute with my hair. As you can see, I didn't dye it. I didn't dye it. I didn't dye it because I was lazy. But I have to hurry up because I'm running behind. I feel like the curls last longer if you leave it in for a day. Or honestly, you could even wear this style like during the whole week. Honestly, honestly, mm. I'm thinking like, dang, should I just leave these in and just take the clip out? But no, I'm gonna take everything out because it's hard sleeping on it. But you can leave, like I still have clips in, but you can leave like the pipe cleaners in and just wear it like this and take the pipe cleaners out when you want and the curls will last super long. Of course, the tighter the curls you do, the longer they last because when it's tight, it gives it like room to fall. And if you do like loose ones, it just falls like back to straight. Like I said, I am on a time schedule. So let me, I'm not going to take out my whole head for you guys because that will take a long time and I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me take this out. But I'll show you guys how to take them out so you can take it out correctly. Don't pull, actually unclip the clips to pull it out. You don't want to pull it and mess up your retwist or you know break your hair, stick your hair or anything. Oh, I'm looking like maybe I should just leave this in, but I'm I could just leave the pipe cleaners in. We'll see how I like it when I take all these clips out. The only thing I don't like is how. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like hair personally. I don't like hair. Um, my little big ears. I don't like hair hanging in my face, so I probably will take all of. It. I'll look this up. Okay, I'm gonna start taking the curls out so you guys can see. What you wanna do is start at the top and untwist the pipe cleaner at the top from your lock. So there that is. And then go to the bottom and untwist it at the bottom like that. And then just pull your lock out. And then you should be able to pull the pipe cleaner directly out, like that. Sorry, my sister's dog is here, and so my dog and her dog are like playing. But I'll show you guys again. Untighten it at the top, untwist it at the bottom, pull the lock out from the pipe cleaner at the bottom, like this, and then directly pull the pipe cleaner. 
sometimes it doesn't pull out but that doesn't mean like it's twisted or anything sometimes you just have to untwist it a little and help it like that so I'm going to continue to do these pipe cleaner curls were going to be a little more tight I guess when I was wrapping them I really thought like dang I'm probably wrapping these too tight and so I kind of went a little looser but I honestly wish they were tighter so they would be shorter <laughs> but having long hair is fun and all but sometimes it just gets annoying having all that hair on your neck and in your face and on top of your head he would be like cut your hair into a bob and I'd be like I would regret that it's either I don't have locks or I have locks. Okay, so it's not taken down all the way because I, like I said, I'm running late so I have to go. I'm gonna finish taking the rest down in the car but you guys get the picture. I am, <laughs> please get the picture. I'm gonna um, take videos of it in the day so you guys can see what it completely looks like down but this is what it looks like so far. I love pipe cleaner curls. They're wonderful. This is not taken down, so don't look at that, but I'll insert a picture and a clip of it when I get it all taken down and style it. I also want to mention how crucial it is for your hair to dry thoroughly. For your hair to dry thoroughly. I put these in Wednesday night. It's Friday, and I had a bonnet on like the whole day the whole time I should have honestly taken the bonnet off to help them air dry more because if you don't allow it to dry completely it won't curl all the way because I was like some of these are not like as tight as I expected them to be why is that and then I'm over here this is the section that I did last and I was you know feeling this and I'm like oh my gosh it's still low-key wet so I don't even know what to do. Honestly, I think I'm going to just leave leave the pipe cleaners on this side in because I just don't want to make my curls fall. Like this. This should not be this loose. Honestly, I might even put the pipe cleaners back in. So yes, make sure that your hair is thoroughly dry, but this is the results. You waiting on me? This, this is, is great. This is the other sister. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I, I, I'm not gonna lie y'all. I might put them all back into my head. I think I might, cause I don't want to lose the curls. This is the one that's engaged. I told them it's your birthday too. It's my birthday. Happy birthday.